Hello, welcome to week six. Today we're talking about academic difficulty notices. Uh, for those of you who might work at other campuses, an academic difficulty notice is part of what's called an early academic warning system. This is a notice that you send to students when you fear that they're not doing as academically well as you would hope they would. Now, at Mount St. Mary's, we call them academic difficulty notices, and they're located within WebAdvisor. Uh, you'll see that I'm going to walk you through the process of doing an academic difficulty notice. I'll have some stuff blurred out just for um, privacy sake, obviously, but uh, I think you should be able to follow along uh, despite any blurs. So down, what I've done within WebAdvisor is I've gone ahead and I've logged in using my password and such. Then I came over to the faculty information portion. Down here, you'll see the academic difficulty notice. Clicking on that, it will ask you which term you would like to use. Right now, I'm going to demonstrate ones for their current term, which is the fall 2018. So I'm going to select that and then submit. Right here, I have a list of all the courses that I'm teaching, and I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this first class. Let's say that I'm doing this particular class. Now, it's gonna be blurred out, but right here, what is listed is, of course, all the student names and the student information and such. But let's say that student number one right here has a D in my class. Now, I know the student, she is fabulous but it seems like she's not getting her assignments in on time and she's missed a few classes. So I'm a little bit concerned that maybe something is going on in her life where she needs a little bit more support. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the student and the page right here will identify the student and their ID number and then it'll give you a chance to fill in some information about the student. So in this case, I'll select her grade, and then I see that she's missed a couple of classes, and so I'll identify the number of classes she's missed and the fact that she's missed a couple of assignments here. And then I would go ahead and write a little note down the comments page. And what I write here is going to be put directly on a form that is emailed to her. And then within Mount Samaria's, this is also emailed to the advisors. And then depending on the number of notices they get, it can go to other academic support services as well. So the sorts of things that I write in here are, I have a little template for what I write in here typically. Um, but I'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like. It says, uh, normally I start off with a greeting actually. So hi, student one. Obviously I would put in her name there uh, for purposes of this demonstration, I'll put student one. Please step by my office hours and then I would actually insert both my office location and the time frames in which I'm there to get help and set up a free tutoring session in our learning center on campus. Now, depending on which campus you're at, we have two different learning centers. I have the one linked to the campus I'm primarily at, although uh, if you're over at Doheny, they have their own system as well. And then I put a statement in here to try and give some encouragement to the student. And the statement that I, I most like is, most students who take action after receiving one of these emails earn a better grade. And this is actually true. Uh, the university collects data on this, and students who receive academic difficulty notices do actually typically perform better academically in their classes after being notified. And the key to that is that they're getting these notices when they still have time to come back from whatever it is that's preventing them from being the full academic achievement that they can be. And so it's really, really important to do these and to do them now. And another reason they're good to do them now is it's before their advising sessions. And our advising within Mount St. Mary's happens in October. And this is where students meet one-on-one -on -one with their advisors. And so the advisors, of course, also get these academic no difficulty notices so they too can talk to the student and see what's going on. I find that often students who get these do better, but there's also a small percentage who are getting academic, academic difficulty notices 
because something larger is going on in their life and it's preventing them from acting in their full potential, whether that's difficulties at home, difficulties with work, or food insecurity, or victimization. There's a lot of things that happens to our students. They're adults in the real world, right? And so this is an opportunity for them to get support services, maybe from mental health services, or maybe from residential life services. So these academic difficulty notices are a key portion in our system to really uphold and help students who are struggling for a variety of reasons. So I encourage you to go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, you can see down here, it's also gonna list some other support services or you can identify a different type of service in this box and then you would push submit. Before I actually send these out, I preface that I'm going to send these out in class so that students aren't completely surprised by these emails. And I always say something similar to what I've got in this comment box here, which is that these are emails because I'm concerned about them. And so they're really, they're meant with like love and care. They're not meant to be something scary or something mean. They're meant for me to kind of send like a little, a little flag at them and be like, hey, you're not doing as well as I think you should be. Let me help you get to where you want to be. And when I say that, and I say that in person to students, they do generally take these emails with a little bit more grace and a little bit more understanding because they understand that it's coming from a place of concern for their well-being rather than being critical of their poor grade. So I hope this demonstration has helped you feel confident in doing an academic difficulty notice that you know how to, and you know a little bit about what to write here. If you have other amazing things that you put in these comment boxes that you think are better than what I wrote, please share them with me. I'd love to share them with other faculty members as well. I think any good practices that help encourage students connecting with student services is something that should be shared knowledge. Additionally, I hope you understand why I coach these in class before I actually send them out. So with that, I will leave you guys for this week. I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.